everyone, I wanted to do a video on the different hat sizes that these different machines can produce. I have the Addy 46 pin, the Centro 40 pin, and this is supposed to be a Centro 32 pin, but they sent me whatever brand that is. Um, for all of these hats, I use medium tension. So the Addy and this one has the tensioner built in. So I just use the medium one. And for this one, I got a tensioner offline, offline, online at Amazon. Um, I'll try to link it in the description below. It's not an affiliate link or anything. But this one, I just use the medium on here also. And in the process of doing so, I broke this door. I need to figure out if I want to glue this piece on forever. Or if I want to look for the little gold piece and fits the gold piece that I have now thrown somewhere in this room. I'm sure with my shoe whenever I kick the machine. So, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, all the brand, all the yarn that I'm using is Yarn Bee Soft Secret brand. It's just going to be in different colors. There's all this brand. With the exception of one hat um, that I made using tight tension on the Addy 46 pin. And I'll show you that hat also in the video. So let me move this out of the way so I can get the hats. Grab these. Okay. So first up we have the Addy 46 pin with medium tension. This hat will fit me. Um, it's definitely not a child's hat. There's plenty of space in there. Um, interesting enough, while these get sh shorter, for some reason they also got longer. So they're both lengthwise longer. So you're just going to have a different size cuff on them. But before I folded them up with the cuff, I wanted to kind of do a comparison of the length of them. They're all pretty much the same. The green one is the longest. And that could have been my fault because the I didn't realize that the... Um, this yellow piece that measures the, you can't see it on that one, uh, that measures the magnet to count the row started slipping off of me. I had Velcro on there. I've since changed that to be command strips. So hopefully it holds better. It should. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and cuff these up so you can see the difference. I mean, you can kind of see the difference there. So already you can see that the Addy is a lot larger than the other two. The other two, there is a difference in them, but it's not as um, prominent as the Addy to the the 46 to the 30 to the 40 pin. So let me just cuff these up. And like I said, because. these are different links they get different cuff links to kind of make them all the same size hat i was hoping for it to be my son's and nephew's age which is around that 8 to 10 8 to 12 age range and then this one to be for children that are around I don't know toddler through six or seven this will not fit my son my second son's head though so this is mainly going to be for toddlers which means you'd have to do less rows um probably recommend around 70 rows total instead of 140 rows. I don't know if I said 140 rows already or not. But that's what these are. 140 rows. And you can see the difference in the sizes there. Um, I don't have a measurement with me. I probably should. It's a craft room. I should have tons of them around. Ah, found one. Found two. Only need one. Okay. So, 
and a lady did a video on this um that was really really good i just had to actually make the beanie to put it into sense for my head um but yeah this beanie measures about seven and a quarter inches and maybe almost nine inches at the brim because the brim flares out a little bit this one measures right at six inches and uh, right about seven inches again because of that brim flaring out and this one measures right at about five inches and right at about six inches because of the brim flaring out so those are the measurements of the hat the length I'm not going to measure because that's all going to be dependent on how many rows you do you might do 140 you might do less or more um, I usually for my adult hats like to stick between 140 and 145 to give it a little bit of a slouch but if you want a more fitted hat then 140 is probably going to be your bet now there is another lady that did a video and she did a fantastic job of explaining tension um so depending on if you have it on loose tension medium tension high tension um will depend on all 140 rows will depend on how big the hat is and so i got this one from high tension i believe um i think it was no tension medium tension low tension then high tension anyways i got this one I, it must have been on the high tension because this was the medium tension one and it's definitely different than that um so it the width of it is about the same the length of it is considerably shorter and it's still 140 rows but because the tension is so tight it's shorter you can see a little bit of an overhang right here when it's opened up um so that's always an option too if you just want to buy the one machine you can do that and have a smaller brim um and use that as a child's hat i will say this one the blue i did use a soft and secret yarn for the red i used a different yarn for and i don't have the label anymore i used all of it because i actually made my mom a scarf and hat set on top of this hat so it took up all of the yarn but my son loves this hat he wanted to sleep with it on yesterday i think but i was like nope and my other son who is my fault because i told him i was gonna make him a green and red hat and he didn't understand he thought in his mind it was going to be green red green red green red striped whereas i was thinking green on one side red on the other side so you can flip it inside out but that's fine i'll just make him a new hat on this machine anyways because this one didn't fit him like i said so i just wanted to do that real quick um of course you can achieve very nearly similar results on the addy machine just changing the tension um but i one need to fix my tensioner now and two um i just like it easier if, if i'm making a child's hat i know which machine to go to so this machine right here will be for toddlers this one will be for children and this one will be for teenagers slash adults um i hope you like my rambling for 10 minutes and hope to see y'all in the next video thanks for watching bye